you just got your technician license, and you need a radio to get on the air. Many new hams start with a handheld radio as it's very versatile and fairly inexpensive way to start your ham radio adventure. I'm going to compare two popular starter radios and even throw in a bonus option at the end. Welcome to the House of Ham. I'm Bob, WV7W, and I am focusing this video on the brand new ham and specifically on analog handheld radios, or sometimes referred to as an HT. I'm going to focus on these two radios the Baofeng UV5R and the Yesu FT65R. But hang around till the end, I will go over one more low cost alternative that recently hit the market. Now, HT is short for handy talkie, which was coined by Motorola during World War II. So why start with an HT? Well, they can be used at home, in the car, out walking around, pretty much anywhere. Most of the other types of radios are somewhat restricted to a particular location like the shack or your vehicle. With the proliferation of digital modes like DMR, Yesu System Fusion, and D-Star, why should you start with an analog radio? I can answer that in one word, simplicity. Analog radios are much simpler to get started with, and pretty much anywhere you go, you can find a repeater that will work with an analog FM radio. With the digital variants, you may not always find a repeater that works with your radio. Now, to be fair, most all of the digital radios also do analog as well, but many of those are fairly complex to program. So this leads us to why we're here. Let's take a look at one of the first radios many may suggest you start with, and that is the Baofeng UV5R. This is a common starter radio, as it's really cheap. You can get one of these for about 20 bucks. It's a dual band radio that covers both two meters and 70 centimeter bands, and it puts out five watts. This sounds pretty good, huh? In fact, it might be just what you're looking for. But let me offer you an alternative that's just a little bit more money, but a much better radio, and that's the Yesu FT65R. The FT65R is also a dual band radio, and it also puts out five watts. And it can cost up to $100, but you can often find it for much less. I got mine for about 70 bucks. So why would you want to spend that much for a similar function? Well, the FT65R is a much better radio, better receiver, cleaner transmit. The Baofeng is notorious for what is known as spurious emissions, which are signals spilling out of where they were supposed to be. Beyond the quality is the simplicity in programming. I've got to say, the Baofeng is a real pain in the butt to program from the front panel. The FT65R is much easier to program. In fact, there are things you cannot do on the front panel from the Baofeng, like naming a memory channel. So if you want to spend your time talking on the radio instead of hooking it up to a computer to program it, you may want to consider something other than the Baofeng. So, not to completely bash the Baofeng, it does do one thing the Yesu doesn't. It has two receivers that can receive at the same time. The Yesu doesn't. For some, that might be a feature. For me, I rarely find that I need to do two things at once. And if I did, I might want to have a second radio. But that's just me. Now, Yesu does have a priority function, but it only checks the priority channel about every five seconds. Now, even if you disable the dual receive on the Baofeng, you can still display two frequencies. In fact, you have to. And you can quickly switch between them. On the Yesu, you might have to go through several memory channels to get to the one you want. So rapidly switching between two might be cumbersome. The FT65R is much more enjoyable to use, at least in my opinion. The Baofeng breaks squelch out of nowhere, even out in the middle of nowhere. I've been out in the woods, and it would incessantly squawk at me. I think that my cell phone would occasionally cause some interference, but this radio doesn't seem to be affected by that. The bottom line is sometimes you get what you pay for, and I think this is one of those situations. If all you can afford is the Baofeng, and it will get you on the air, great. But if you can afford the Yesu, I highly recommend it as a great starter radio. Now, these two are far from your only choices, but they are popular options. But 
as promised, there is another HT you may want to consider, and that is the Explore QRZ1. Now, this was a combined effort of QRZ.com and Gigaparts to get new hams on the air. At the end of last year, newly licensed hams could get one of these radios for free. Now, if you're a newly licensed ham and you missed out on the free offer, you can still get this for less than the $59, which is still a great deal, by the way. However, you can get one of these for $21.99 up until March 31st of 2023. This is probably the only Chinese-made analog HT that I would recommend right up there with the Yesus, Icoms, and Kenwoods. So even if you're watching this past the end of the Jumpstart program, or if you aren't a new ham and you want a solid, inexpensive HT, you might want to consider the QRZ1. I hope this helps you make a decision on your first ham radio. I do encourage you to do a bit more research before you make a purchase. It is always a good idea to get multiple points of view. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you know when my next video comes out. Until next time, 73s. Now I'm going to focus on two, these two, I'm going to focus on these two radios, the Baofeng UV5, the Baofeng UV5R, and the Yesu. FD5 and the Yesu 65R.